I invite you to join me now as we bow before the Lord in prayer. Almighty, most holy God, you are faithful through the ages, and we lift your name in praise on this day which you've given us as a gift. Your honor, your power, your majesty are beyond compare, and we pause now to recognize you as creator, redeemer, Lord of all, and our loving Heavenly Father. Thank you, God, that even in this extended time of physical separation, you're weaving together this family of faith in which we practice how to live, learn, worship, and work in ways that bring you, God, great honor and us great joy and satisfaction. Thank you for scripture to help guide us on our way. Thank you for your spirit who makes the Bible's message clear to us, prompts us to act on it, and reminds us of your life-giving presence with us. And thank you, God, for other believers who share life's journey with us. Thank you for your invitation to your table of redemption. Thank you for the ability to gather virtually right now. Oh God, restore to us the privilege of gathering in person each week to study scripture and to worship you, to learn more of you, and to grow closer to you in faith as we learn more about how to be your people in this world people who love our neighbors near and far, as you, God, love us. Thank you for the joy of new little ones in this church family, for Aaron Christopher and all the other babies about to make their entrance. Dear Heavenly Father, bless the families to which we all belong. In these days of enforcement, of togetherness, and of separation, help us all, parents, spouses, children, friends, to live in peace with each other and in hope. Comfort Henry Floyd's family and Melvin Floyd's family as they learn to live in a world where they no longer are physically present. We pray for all in need this day, whatever the need. Minister your merciful provision and peace, we pray, to Deborah, Michael, and their dear mother Alice, as she fights the virus. For Chris, Vivian, and Wanda as they heal, and for Joe as he continues to receive treatment. As we pray for those who are in need of medical intervention, we pray also for those who provide it. As doctors, nurses, and medical professionals of every sort bring themselves, body, mind, and spirit to the task of caring searching, comforting, and encouraging. Please care for them, Lord. Speak to them in ways they cannot miss. Draw them to yourself and bring them your deep peace, your comfort, your encouragement, and your insight. We pray for you to minister your provision and peace to this branch of your family we call Narberth Presbyterian Church. God, bind us together in your love Give us all a renewed sense of your calling to us as a congregation. Faithful Lord, we ask that you would provide for all our needs, that you would change our hearts and minds when they're not in tune with you, that you would grow us into mature people of faith who reach out to people near and far through prayer and practice, word and work. During this spring season of strange newness, in life and in us, whisper your message of encouragement and challenge and help each one of us love you, God, above all else so that we will know better how to love all else. We pray these and all our prayers in the name of Jesus, your living word made flesh, who lived the only true holy life with you, God, and with his neighbor, and who taught us to pray like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power 
and the glory forever. Amen.